Founded in 1623, Gloucester, Massachusetts is home to the oldest fishing port in the United States. Arthur Cecil Pigou was an early 20th century English economist who was one of the first to introduce the theory of the tragedy of commons. As defined by Garrett Hardin in The Economy, the tragedy of the commons is when resources that are not owned by anyone are easily overexploited unless we control access in some way. The tragedy of the commons is undoubtedly a major problem in the fishing industry. Gloucester has exhausted a valuable resource, and this has affected not only the fishermen, but the entire community of Gloucester. With no ownership, trying to protect the ocean's environment from overfishing becomes a difficult task. Our regulations are intended to, be, to provide as much flexibility as fishermen need while following the science and, and constraining harvest in a sustainable way. Establish a fishery management plan which sort of sets the overall picture of how we want to manage this fishery collectively. Again, that's a collaborative process. Some gear can go in and some gear can't. That gets very controversial. Like, but there was no regulation? Yeah. That's so a, yeah. so his his limit is, is what his boat can carry. Okay. He literally fills it right to the right to the hatch and that's that's we never really had any fishing regulations. We didn't manage our fishery at all. You know, back, back in the day, I mean the, the, the millions and millions of pounds that were, were unloaded here just mind boggling. I mean I think really what happened was in the in the nineteen seventies the government stepped in and basically said We've got to do something here because if we don't do something, we're not going to be you know, so We've got to have some regulations here. And I think, I've heard the statement, our fishery is the most highly regulated fishery in the world. I've been to so many meetings, fishermen will say, no, there's so much cargo up here, and you guys say there's none. This is of uh, tragedy, the commons, you know, too many people just going after too little is really, if you get into the details, you find out that that's not what happened. In the 60s, the government was giving loans, grants to help them buy boats. Right? And all of a sudden, uh oh, mistake, we're doing boat buyback programs now. And then they go to this days at sea program and they literally said, we just don't want you guys fishing, we've got to minimize our fishing thing. And then what do they do? They change the rules after that and say, we're going to issue you guys permits based on how much you just fished the last 10 years. Well, I was not fishing because you told me not to. No matter how well you try to regulate, nothing is ever going to stay constant. It's always been that way. The amount of employment, right? There's still a lot of fish coming in. Um, still not compared to what it was in the 80s, but it's still a substantial amount of volume. But the amount of jobs that that's contributing to is nothing compared to what it used to be. Right. We're all on the same team. Right. And um, not everyone believes that. The tragedy of the commons is not an issue the fishermen of Gloucester ignore. The issue is in finding common ground in how to best incorporate the lessons from Pigou effectively.